Hey guys, I'm back again. I know you guys wanted me to do more of this stuff. I did I did 650s. But I got to a point where I made a couple or got a couple of these made up. Realised straight away. Why go that way? Why not go the easy way? So yeah, so I think we're gonna unbox them very quickly. I have got a BMS right here. Similar to the ones that uh, Andy's channel uses, but at the moment I am building up DIY BMSs, which I think would be a lot handier. Whoops. So first thing I'm gonna do is just check that these are okay. So positive on the black side, why wouldn't they be? So what have we got? We have what is a freaking shop? Point point one seven milli milliohms and three point two nine six. Hopefully they're all matched. Yeah, 0.17 milliohms and 3.296 again. So the reason I've got these out today is I've gotten braces to pack them together and I've made them up. So I've got 16 of these batteries. So start me off. So these are saying it's 0.18, so my, my meter is either out or it's not sure everything's okay. The metal phone is unbelievable. Only problem I don't know why I thought they were laser welding, the actual little pins in so I'm very disappointed they didn't do that three oh no yeah four um, I want to put it into a 12s they go like that Okay, we've got on the second packs. I'm gonna pop this one out. This one's got a little bit of damage of some description. I don't know what that is. It's like a piece of material or something's gotten stuck underneath it at the time of making. Okay, I've got all the 16 set up here with my 304 amp hour batteries. I've got a BMS ready to go. I've realized straight away these beams are going to fit just, which is awesome because now I don't have to order any more and I don't need these ones. So I just need to get some more of these, these tomorrow and that's all I need to do. Then I need to set these up to, to um, balance them all up together and I still have to quickly go through them and double check the uh, resistance in the still working on these batteries here trying to line them up nice and neat so I was thinking well I've got them I've measured up the batteries and they're the whole length of my 16 batteries are 10.6 meters or uh, 100 and 
106,000 millimetres, whatever you want to look at it as. Uh, and so I'm going to have to cut some heat shrink to go on to the beams that I'm going to use. And these beams, the actual heat shrink almost covers the length of the actual beams. So I'm going to line them up against the wall. Hopefully the wall's reasonably square. Sorry about the old uh, set square I've got here. It's very, very old. Uh, it actually has a little bit of a chunk out of it. But yeah, that's an original. Can't even remember where I got it from. Anyway, we're going to use um, some of this chopping board I've cut off. Nice thick chop chopping board. I got that from uh, Campbell's Cash and Carry. I think it was about $7. I did buy another piece that was $10 and I stuck myself up with it. But that will go nice and neat there another one on the other end I'll bring it across a bit and that's so strong when I do pull it in I will use washers on the outside but I've also used in my idea a heap of lock nuts so I've got lock nuts to go on the ends I went and picked them up today from Bunnings Australia and they cost me I think just under eight dollars for about 20 of them that's all you need and then you'll need some of this bar. I bought this from Bunnings. Not 100% of the, the length of it, but I will give you a length right now of what it is. It's about four foot, or in our about 2,000, 2,200. Oh, correction. It's actually stop it. because these are so thick and I couldn't be bothered removing it if I put them out here this will actually slowly bow so I'm gonna have to get them as close as I can within reason so I'm thinking about there there's not much bowing there happening maybe even closer and then I'll put a piece of uh, aluminium across there I've got a lot of aluminium hanging around so we will we'll work out a close enough point that I can still grip to on. Uh, And we'll have to do it on the other side as well. Like I said, this is my template. So now I'm just going to have to, and this is all looking by eye. So I will want another pair to stop it from buckling at the bottom. And eventually I might even have to buy another pair and put it in the center. So I might as well mark that hole as well because I've got one there. I'm gonna have another one there eventually and one down here. So I'm happy with that. Then I just have to double check and see what type of distance from the edges these are coming off it. So that's about 50, bit under 50 mil there, and a bit over 50 mil there, probably about ooh, 55 mil. A little bit out. Should have uh, done a little bit more guidance on that. So we'll come from the bottom. We'll try and line these two at the bottom reasonably up. So I've got 
30 mil 30 mil or about just over an inch for you guys following in America if you're watching and you can hear Tiffany in the background so 30 mil Now when using your uh, grill, before you turn it on, turn it off. And if you're new to it and you've put a pilot hole in, look for that centre. If it's like this and it's a little bit off and it tries to push its way into that hole, you're going to go on an angle. So you want it in the centre, see how it went there. Right, and that's especially important on metal jobs. And don't put your hand on it until the thing's stopped. Especially if it's metal, it's off. You don't want to cut your hands with it. I've drilled the holes. Now if you don't have a pedestal drill, you can use a hand drill. Just have to be a bit, uh, try and keep straight with it. And that fits perfectly. And the reason I know it fit perfectly was I got the thickness of the drill bit. We'll get it out. We've got the thickness of the drill bit and we can pair sure that we've got exactly the same same length or oh, width I mean width the same width so yeah that's how you make sure you your work's going to be perfect all up I can't remember what I've spent on the bars fair bit probably 80 bucks worth of bars there um, maybe a bit less 80 bucks with the nuts and stuff um, eight dollars for the actual these nuts here from Bunnings and I put one of these sleeves on and all down there and all the all this cost me I think a bit over thirty dollars so well worth it to keep this all intact and I will put a beam across the back of here to hold that in and that'll be right so then from there I know I've got them all back to front okay I've got to use some extension cables to connect the bars I know that and I so I still need to get some solar panel aluminium from Melbourne but can't do it at the moment which I can't at the moment because it's locked down to get uh, all the aluminium so I can rack, rack mount all my solar panels on the roof of this building so that's in the future so if you like this video please subscribe and please like and uh, hopefully I can get some more work done tomorrow 
or probably next week at this stage because I've got a lot on. Got to be detached.